Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Mean as a Balance Point. Before we can get into Mean as a Balance Point, we must first know how to create a line plot. This is actually the first step of for finding Mean as a Balance Point. So here I have a data set, 61375783, and what I'll need to do is put those on a number line. A line plot is going to be using X's to represent each data point. So I have six represented by an X and I'll just go through and put each of my data points onto my number line. So one, three, seven, five, seven, eight, and three. Sometimes you might use a dot plot instead of a line plot. So what's the difference? The difference between a line plot and a dot plot is that a line plot will be using X's to represent each data point where a dot plot uses circles. Now that we're familiar with how to create a line plot, we're going to go ahead and use this in order to solve mean as a balance point. Let's look at a new set of data. Here I have 888912. So remember our first step to solving mean as a balance point is to create our number line. We have 888. 8, 9, and 12 listed. This is our original data. Typically, you're going to go ahead and solve mean as a balance point from right here. I want to show you what this looks like before and after, so I'm going to go ahead and do another line plot that looks exactly the same so that I can show you what the balance side looks like. After we've created our line plot, the next most important step is to make sure that we are looking at the outermost point of our data. So here on the left, that's 8, and here on the right, that's 12. I'm going to be moving each of my outermost points towards the center one space at a time. And I'll need to do one on the left, then one on the right, then one on the left, then one on the right. I'll repeat this pattern until all of my data points are above, the majority of them are above one number. So first I have 8, so I'm going to move it over 1 to 9. Then I need to go to the right side of my data. I have 12. I'm going to move it over 1 to 11. I'm just going to repeat this process. So this time 8 is my outermost point on the left, so I'll move it to 9. And this time my rightmost outer point is actually 11, so I'll move it forward to 10. 8 goes to 9, and 10 goes to 9. Now you'll notice that all my data points are stacked above the number 9. That means that my balance point is nine. And that's all the steps are in order to find mean as balance point. Let's recap. We know that mean is the balance point of the data on a number line. Each data point is represented by an X on our line plot. For how to find the mean, we'll move our outermost left point towards the center then we repeat with our outermost right point, moving the same number of spaces each time. We'll continue alternating right and left outermost points until the center or the mean is reached with all the points. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.